Now, just to give you an idea, I'm, I'm not going to pass this around. It's just to give you an idea, each one of these lines represents a chart like we just saw, 50 hertz up to 20,000, for the different settings on this mic. That's why there's many lines. Okay, but the only thing you really need to see is that it's not straight. You see that? It's not straight. And this is a thousand dollar mic. It's not even like the mic I just showed you on your page. You see that? Each one of those lines represents a different uh, front setting here, a different polar pattern setting. This is a great mic. I've been waiting for this mic for 10 years. This is a great mic. This mic has a bump at 5,000 and 10,000. Sure is going to hear the cymbals a lot better. It's going to boost that high end for me because when I need that high end, I would put this strings. I could get the high-ended trumpets with this because I got pads in the back. All microphones are different. And what you do is you learn to pick the microphone that you need for the job. And that's your first order of equalization. Or dealing with the texture of your sound, your first order is the microphone. If you pick the right microphone and put it on the instrument in the right place, you should not have to touch a knob in there other than volume. This will do it all. You've got to pick the right mic. The beauty about this mic is I have five polar pattern selections, but also I have three different roll-off selections, meaning I can roll off below 40, or I can roll off below everything below 80, or I can roll off everything below 160. But also I have three different pad selections, which says I can use this mic on violins and strings, or I can put it in front of a trumpet player. Get a great trumpet sound with this. A little crisper than a ribbon. Obviously, because look at the boost in the high end, you know. So you pick your microphone according to what the job it has to do.